Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is again Shrekes from SmartHerd. Welcome to Ruby tutorial number 15. In this tutorial, I am going to show you shortcut to getter and setter methods in Ruby class. Now let's move forward. Earlier, we were writing these bunch of codes, class box, this is setter, this is getter, and end of function. Along with these codes, box dot width it equal to 10, these are calling the setters, and these two line of codes is getting the value from the getters. I have discussed all these things in previous tutorial guys, nothing new. Now, we are getting the output as 10 and 20 because box dot width equal to 20, 10 and box dot height equal to 20. Now, here you can notice guys the instance variable width. The name of instance variable is similar to the setter function width and also the instance variable width is similar to the name of the getter function width. There is no harm in that guys because getter and setter are user defined methods. We can name it as set width, set height or width or simple height or get width, get height as we, we were doing earlier. No props. But here I have given this example which I will tell you in next few minutes why I have, why I have written this width and this width similar. Now let us write the code of the syntax of shortcut to getter and setter. Here we got class box, in between we have a line of code, then end of the class. This line of code, addr underscore accessor, colon width, comma, colon height, is the shortcut to getters and setters. Yes guys, these whole bunch of codes are confined here within the class box and end, which is addr underscore accessor, width and height. These two are just creating getters and setters. Now, one thing you will notice here guys, the name width and height whatever you are writing here width and height is creating a setter of name width and instance variable of name width the, similarly this height is creating instance variable height and setter of name height and here in getter also you can see this is width and this is height which is similar to the instance variable that is why I have given this example so now you can see this whole bunch of codes which, uh, which were which we have written now was equivalent to this whole bunch of codes so which one is better guys this one so in future tutorials we will use this codes these codes only now let's move forward now so far we have seen that ATTR accessor width and height is creating getters and setters now what if if we only want a getter for that we have a code ATTR underscore reader colon width comma colon height in this case, only the ATTR accessor is getting replaced by ATTR reader. So, all the syntax are same except this keyword ATTR reader. Now, what if, if we want only a setter? For that purpose, we are having a keyword ATTR underscore writer. So, in this case also, all the syntax are same except ATTR writer replaces ATTR reader. Now, let's move forward to our to underscore s method. Now what is this to underscore s method? It is a string representation of an object. If you want to represent an object in terms of string, then you have to use to underscore s method in your class, in your class body. Now let us consider a class, class box, end, then df initialize as a constructor, initializing width and height. I have written the shortcuts of at the rate w, at the rate height, no props. Now let us see the syntax of to underscore s method. We, sim we simply have to write def space to underscore s and, and we, our code to be here. In this code we have to return the string that we want to print. That is here we are returning width is interpolation at the rate w and height is interpolation at the rate h. This will return width is 10, height is 20 if we are having the variable as 10 and 20. Now let us write the codes in the program body. First we have to initialize our constructor or object. Object equal to class name dot new. There is a constructor we are sending 10 and 20 here w and h 10 and 20. So we are getting instance variable as 10 and instance variable h as 20. Now, now this is the code which will call to underscore s method. This is nothing guys, no need to worry, this is simply an interpolation. Within this double quotes, we are having interpolation object name. 
this is the box object name and this is the box same object name so when you write this code this will simply call this method and this method will return this width is 10 and height is 20 and you will get the output as width is 10 and height is 20 there is another simpler way to call this method 2 underscore s what is that let's see put as box this is simply an object name no need of using interpolation we use interpolation within the double quotes only whenever we are printing a string now put as box when you write simply this box this will simply call this method and again same thing will occur width is 10 and height is 20 so this was all for this tutorial guys we will in next tutorial i will mess up with the codes show you the coding part Thank you guys and don't forget to subscribe.